Hey guys, so I wanted to film a video about plants and as summer's coming to an end, I had an intention at the beginning, beginning of the summer to share with you more information about the health benefits of certain plants that are uh, local to my area but also you're able to get in most um, other places in the US and um, in most parts of the world as well. Briefly before I get into the three plants that I want to share today, I just want to say that I was first introduced to this a, a long time ago. My mom was really interested and still is interested in plants and she always would have us eat these different greens and uh, She's just always been very, very interested in, um, in the medicine of these plants, um, as well as just knowing that it's free and it's right here in your yard or at your local park and you can just pick some and then use it. Then through my forest therapy experience, I was exposed to it a little bit more, but it was through reading this book recently called Plant Spirit medicine by Elliot Cohen, I think, um, that I just felt like, whoa, this is something that I feel like I've kind of always known, but it was never delivered to me in that way to get me really excited about, um, you know, the, the healing properties of plants. And that then led to furthering my research, where I then was introduced to someone named Mark, something with an R, or Marcus Roth something. And he has a bunch of information about, you know, free medicine and um, the role wild edibles can play in your life. And that gets me to here. I will share more about that journey another time if there's interest, but... Um, I really want to get to the three plants that I want to talk about today and just share some of the properties they have as well as ways in which I've used them and ways in which you can use them. So first off is dandelion greens or dandelion leaves. Um, most of you probably know, okay it's not focusing, but most of you guys probably know what this um, looks like and they're everywhere. Um, if you've ever tried one, they're, they're a little bit bitter just to eat them like this, and the um, more mature that they are, the bigger the leaves, the more uh, bitter and the stronger taste that it has. And so I just picked a few of these baby ones to just kind of show you, and I plan to pick a bunch more after I finish filming this video to put in a salad that I'm going to eat. Dandelion greens are filled with vitamin C and iron and calcium and potassium and a whole bunch of other um, good nutrients that I will put up here on the screen. I think what it's um, most known for is that it helps regulate um, the heart rate and your blood pressure, which is super important um, at any age, of course. Yeah, it's just so packed with good nutrients and it's free. It's just out here um, and available for, for anyone who notices it. You can also juice these. That's a super great way to get the benefits of the dandelion greens. You can also saute them, cut it up um, pretty fine and throw it in like a stir fry or something. Um, I've attempted to make a pesto. It didn't turn out very well. Um, but that's because I mixed it with another natural plant that um, I will not be talking about here today, but maybe another day, called plantain. Wow, that's loud. And super low. Alright, so the second plant that I'm going to talk about is um, the nettle plant, more specifically the nettle leaf, which maybe I can get this to focus on. Uh, so it does sting, that's why I'm holding it weird. Um, 
and it does hurt. Um, it goes away in probably half an hour, an hour, um, sometimes more if it was a really bad sting or a whole bunch of them. Nettle is really good for arthritis and anti-inflammatory things. It improves circulation and strengthens the bones. It can treat respiratory issues and a whole slew of other things. But how I've used it most throughout my life is probably through tea. Um, you can dry them, they grow abundantly. If you get one plant, that's really all you need. It'll continue to spread and spread and spread. So you just dry them and then you put them in, in water like you would any other tea. I've also sauteed these. Um, they're pretty good and I've juiced them. Uh, I have made a pesto. It turned out better with the nettle than it did the dandelion. It's kind of like a spinach. It has a little bit stronger flavor, but um, much more uh, palatable than I feel like the dandelion greens for most people. And you can also put these in salads, but I might um, do a quick blanch to them so that they don't sting your mouth because that would be very unpleasant. And lastly is the white clover, which I don't have a sample of because um, I picked a whole bunch and dried it and I just don't have any right directly around me. A lot of people know of red clover, which, you know, there's a whole slew of health benefits, but not so many people know about white clover, which has, you know, an equal number of, of benefits and I think is more plentiful. So it's most known for purifying and cleansing the blood. And you can use the leaves, you can use the stem, and you can use the flower. And so I have picked the flowers and I've dried them and then used them in tea. And I've also used um, the leaves. There's like, I think, three petals and you just can pick a whole bunch of them. And I just put those in salads as well. The flower is also really good at fighting like just regular colds and fevers. So throughout my process of learning about these plants and all the health benefits and nutrient be be benefits they have, it's really cool and eye-opening and um, yeah just uplifting in general to know that there's plants all around us that have the ability to heal our bodies and that we don't need these um, foreign substances that were created in a, in a lab to um, maintain a healthy body there's so many things that play a role in in health and um, you know, I've talked about grounding and being in connection with the earth, of course food, um, where you get your food, what foods you're consuming, your mental and emotional health, your situation in life and how that's affecting, um, you know, your emotional well-being. Since I've really started um, prioritizing my health, there's this whole new sense of control in my life. I have control over my body's ability to heal itself. And that's just a really powerful um, feeling. In the future, I will be sharing more uh, recipes of you know different plants and how I personally use them. Because um, I think that would be really helpful instead of just sharing with you how I use them. But there's also, you know, you can look online and see recipes for um, all three of these plants and how other people use them as well. That's all I have for this video. I hope you guys are having a awesome day and I will see you super, super soon. Bye. Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. Never understood. But life